It's supposed to be a moment What good is being the one When you the only one that knows it What's good, bitch ass niggas? How y'all motherfucking feeling? It's the motherfucking goat God in this bitch. Iso God Sensei, the best nigga in 2K. IQ, you know, highest IQ, you know, um, the nigga who who made these people play the way they play, you know, all that shit. So um, I heard this little dumbass nigga Hank made a video, disrespected me at the end of the video. Didn't even put me on the list. So disrespectful. I mean, you you could say it, it was because I roasted you, but I, I mean, it's cool. I could just share my opinion myself. Y'all, let me know if y'all if y'all like more videos like this. You want me to react to more lists or whatever these little top tens or whatever. You know, two K likes, three K likes, whatever, man. So I'm gonna react to each person he put on the list before I. And um, I'm sure you guys will enjoy, man, cause I'm about to start roasting. I'm, I'm gonna be light. I'm cool with some of these niggas, but I'm gonna be like, you know, this little dumbass nigga gonna put sinners and fucking shot creators and lockdowns before I? What? <laughs> you better, you better, <laughs> you sit your dumb ass up. Anyways, man, so at number 10. Yeah, let's get, let's get right into the top 10. You already know, I'm, br I'm out here bringing the fire list. I actually know how to make a list. So at number 10, we have So Luminati over here. This nigga puts so Illuminati. Now, newsflash, so Illuminati is is he's not that guy. You know, um, l let me tell you why. I know a lot of you guys are fans of him. You know, you like to suck his cock. You know, ride his dick. But um, any nigga that plays off stream, um, Hank, um, so Illuminati, etc. Okay. They will not have the same record that they would have, especially if they talk shit. Because niggas is pulling up. If they play off stream, it's for a reason, okay? So you automatically gotta put him lower. He's a stretch big. He runs behind screens, you know? And he just does a glitch and he plays tools all day, okay? Also, let me drop some more knowledge for you niggas, man. So, you see most of the YouTubers and streamers, you know, they all play twos. And for some reason, a lot of them think it takes way more skills than threes, which makes no sense. And I'm going to tell you why. So, whatever the community is doing the most, okay, that's what takes the least skill. You see everyone have the same jump shot. It takes the least skill to use that jump shot because it's cash, my nigga. People use the same dribble moves, you know. People play on the twos. Why? Why why would people who want to just get W's and all this play something that's harder? That doesn't make sense, bro. Okay? It takes least skill. It's more it's more condensed, controllable, and you know, you could just if you got the the IQ and the rhythm with your teammate, you know, you ain't really gotta do shit, man. You can really fuck some niggas over. But Let's go to the next. I fuck with Soluminati. Not hating, not hating. I fuck with Soluminati even with that, that such shit that came out, bro. But I fuck with him, but he don't deserve to be on no top 10 list. Plus, he a center, you know? Let, let's see what this nigga can do. Iso in on a playmaker by himself. What his actual skill is, okay? If he wants to use screens, let's see how good he is in Pro-Am. Bet you he gets fucking destroyed. That's the same with all of you niggas on this list that use screens. Use screens in Pro-Am and let's see how nice you are versus the top people who use screens. You'll get destroyed. <laughs> Fuck you, me. <laughs> On to the next one. Oh, so at number nine, we have the one, the only, Cheeseaholic. He's one of the... At number nine, young Hank, the disrespectful little fuck, has put Cheeseaholic. Now, I do not, I know who he is. I've never really watched him play. I know he got nice dribble moves. And he be grinding on the YouTube shit and he's blowing up because he a dribble god or whatever. But I, I really don't know him. I don't really watch people's 2K. I don't know how good he is at ISO. But just the fact that he ISOs, I don't know how good he is at it. You know, when someone's reaching on him and shit, I have no idea. I really don't know. I don't know his win percent. I don't know nothing. But, I mean, this probably just a uh, nigga Hank just sucking his cock because he don't want that nigga Cheese to pull up on him or some shit. I don't know. I don't know how good he is. But props to you for ISOing, my nigga. You feel me? 
That's what the real we we know where the real skilled players are, niggas who ISO. In 16 and 15, what were you niggas? You know, if 2K15, this nigga Hank had a set fucking 70 something win percent. Nigga was shit. He was shit at 16, nigga. This is your best year. Kill yourself. <laughs> like, set your bum ass up. Don't you ever disrespect me, man. I'm senpai. Let, let, let's go on to the next one, man. Shout out to Young Cheese, man. Time and effort into learning how to dribble on 2K17. But uh, yeah, that, just because they're better at dribbling doesn't mean they're better than me. Or other people. But uh, number eight, we have my man. Bull the man over here. Bull the fuck. So at number eight, he put Cole the motherfucking man. <laughs> now, if you haven't noticed by this point of the video, he's sucking mad cock. This is his little buddy, you know? This nigga Cole, he's my man's, but he does not play. He does not play on stream. He does not even play 2K. He is a shot creator. The position that takes the least skill in 2K. I'm not saying that if he did get on a playmaker and try, you know what would happen. He probably could, but he does not play. So you cannot put him up here. I'm sorry. You're sucking mad cock. You list his ass, my nigga. He is a shot creator. You cannot put a shot creator above an ISO god. A nigga that can play against three great players, Mountain Dew winners, whatever, ISO them and kill them. If they ISO back, they lose. Any nigga, any caliber, if they ISO back, I'm beating any nigga on the game. If they ISO back. And if they run screens, I'm probably still going to win. And I could do it with randoms. So the fact that you put a shot creator, a center, and someone else above me, eat a dick and die. <laughs> a little stupid nigga. I fuck with Cole. Y'all go sub to that nigga, but we all know, my nigga, like, you can't put no shot creator on the list. You sucking mad dick, okay? This, is, this should be the top 10 niggas who dick I want to suck. You sucking mad cock. And oral, you, you jobbing nigga shit, man. Like, let's get to the next one. Shout out to my nigga Cole. No disrespect to you, man. You, you already know what it is. I so got sensei shit, man. <laughs> on to the next one air shoot i'm sorry i love you no homo so at number seven we have oh my god oh oh oh, oh. We, we have the dead rat all oh, my eyes are oh so yeah number seven i decided to put the dead rat mr annoying tv i'm annoying huh annoying whatever you want to call him now at number seven he put my nigga annoying now i fucks with annoying shout out to young annoying young rat nigga but um cool guy entertaining guy one of the few streams that are actually entertaining that I, I can click in and watch i don't know why a lot of you niggas get views but annoying's actually entertaining you know when it comes to how lame 2k is but um yeah this video way too long god damn shit yo this video mad long god i'm almost at seven minutes bro shit i'm gonna have to Tone this shit down, man. I'm roasting a little too heavy. But at number seven, he put young motherfucking annoying. Now, annoying has played comp players. He is sharp, blah, 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 blah. You know, I do believe he deserves to be up on here because he's beat a lot of these people more than they've beaten him. And, you know, he, I mean, but again, ISO. True skill by yourself type shit. He can't do what I could do, okay? He can't do what I could do at randoms. You know, overall, I I have I believe I have more skill. Okay, that, that, that's all I'm saying. But he definitely deserves to be one of the top um, park niggas, whatever, or fucking YouTubers, whatever. Let's go to the next one, man. You could have been higher, but uh, yeah, there, there's a lot of talent on this list. So coming in at number six, numero seis, I have decided to put Nade. So now Nade, Mr. Nade. Now at number five. Young bitch ass Hank has put Nate Exy, a nigga who holds his dick for 14,000 something fucking games and runs. I, I fuck with Nate Exy somewhat, you know. It's not disrespect to him. I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm just being real about it, my nigga. He holds his dick for the best players in the game that are fucking sharpshooters or whatever or playmakers. You can't put a center above a ISO God Sensei 
okay, you know, I do it by myself. I need no help. You know, me and him ISO and I would kill his shit. You feel me? You know, what, 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 he, I can do what he can do, but he can't do what I can do. You feel me? So you, you can't put someone that holds their dick for fun and you know, like, you gotta stop. Shout out to bitch ass Nate XE, man. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to do a Nate XE roast. Um, I've been too lazy to do it, but uh, he's he's kind of try to you know throw some jabs in some of his videos. You know, I could roast him. It would be amazing. It would be fucking hilarious. I wouldn't get too personal, but uh, yeah, man. Y'all let me know, man. Show it by uh, liking the video, commenting down below. Let's go to the next one. Man. Kind of hard to merge centers and guards on one list. So I put it based off of who would I want on my team? Who is a bigger asset to winning games? And at number five, Mr. Mind of Rez, most of you people, they, you probably don't even know him. At number four, that bitch nigga Hank has put Mind of Rez, another My Park Center or Stage Center. Now I've played with Mind of Rez. When I played with him, he was ass, okay? Like, it was like, it was fucked up, but Apparently, he's played with G-Slice a lot, and they streaked and all types of shit, but, you know, when I played with him, it wasn't too whatever, but he's a saint. You can't be greater than the ISO guy since my nigga. I drop off full team by myself. I've, I've, I play more comp than 99% of the community, to be honest, and I'm by myself. You, I'm by myself, dickhead. You, you get that? It's like I don't have other players to lean on, and I, I like don't get exposed. That no one can do that. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, bro. I mean, <laughs> I don't know, bro. Like, I mean, it's up to you. Like, the all y'all niggas click up with the best people, and you play these bums. Except for y'all that be at the comp stages at the 5K. Y'all play the top niggas or a bunch of whatevers, cancerous niggas. But. You know, those are like the only people who I don't consistently play higher comp. But I beat a lot of comp players when they pulled up on me when I have randoms. I've been in the comp stage myself and played them and beat them. So, I mean, just because I don't always stream it or put it on YouTube, it's because the game's not entertaining. You guys get that? I post videos that are entertaining. That Those are ones against subscribers and shit. When I'm playing little tryhards, I'm not always being entertaining. Or I'm just blasting music, you know? So, I mean, on to the next one. He destroyed, they destroyed I Run You. Look at that. 21 to 7 or 22 to 7. I have to give recognition where I see it because no one put him on their list because they don't know about him. So, at number four, you know, I would have put Lamont. At number four, Young Hank has put a lockdown defender. Now, I fuck with LaMonster. Every time I play with LaMonster, we streaked and we picked up a fucking random. We play little tryhards, even Mountain Dew winners. I think I've only lost once with him. And we're playing with a random or a fuck nigga. And we killing niggas, bro. You know, I'm dropping niggas off ISO. He locking niggas up. But he's a lockdown, okay? At the end of the day, he's a lockdown. One of the least skilled positions, probably even less than a center. I don't fucking know, okay? You can't. Put a lockdown above ISO got sensei. I face niggas by myself and I beat all levels of comp. I'm one of the niggas that play the highest comp in the game and I'm YOLO DOLO. When I go on the stage, I kill niggas, bruh. You feel me? Swante be killing niggas, bruh. You feel me? But let's go on to the next, man. Very hard to guard. And his defense is incredible. He, he was a good playmaker when the game came out. But at number three, we have Mr. Rico. I run you. Now, a lot of you people would be like. Now, at number three, he has put Young. I run you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Head ass. <laughs> he has put I run you. Okay. Now, um, I guess he's the best dribble guy. Best dribble guy. Blah, blah, blah. Now, when it comes to I run you, I've played with I run you. And, um. When we was trying to ISO niggas and shit, it, it didn't work too well, man. I tried to give him the ball and shit. I'm not saying he's not a top player, but, I mean, it didn't work. Same when I played with Hank, you know, especially with Hank. That nigga got dropped off by Connor like three times. Why you thinking that one video I put of him when he quit mid-game getting fucking fucked up because he couldn't ISO 
You know, he quit. I dropped 21, won the game, you know? A lot, a lot of these niggas for sure. But I run you be killing niggas, man. But also, I believe I am better at isoing, my nigga. You know, and I'm YOLO DOLO 90% of the time, my nigga. I run you run with good niggas all the time. I, I, I just don't believe I run you could run with fucking randoms and pull off my ISO performances. I think when you start reaching on I run you, that, that, that shuts this whole shit down with me. That opens my whole shit up. You feel me? You know, there's an IQ difference. You feel me? But um, shout out to young I run you. I used to drop his shit the fuck off in 16. Record verse him probably like fucking 10 to 1 on 16. Used to drop his shit the fuck off. You know, he used to be a come around new. Or it's probably even more than that. But yeah, man. Shout out to young I run you, bro. Um, Let's go to the next one. There's a bunch of talent on it, but... Yeah, so I had to put him in number three. So now, in number two, I think you guys know who's going to be here. Mr. G-Size. He was on. Now, at number two, he has put baby Nate Exy. Nate Exy's motherfucking brother, man. You know, G-Size plays a lot of comp. He's one of the few people that I've, I, I've played with a lot of YouTubers or known people. You know, everyone claim they nice, you know, as do I. You know, you know, like, you know, I'm really about that shit, nigga. You know, we, shit, this ain't no off stream shit, nigga. But, um, he plays a lot of comp. He wins against a lot of people and he, he beats a lot of people, man. And, um, but at the end of the day, he runs with some of the best players in the game, people he plays with all the time, maxed out chemistry. I just don't believe G Slice could do what i could do by himself beat the best players in the game iso but he's definitely a top sharpshooter running with niggas type shit and he be dropping niggas off on them fucking um comp stages shout out to fucking g slice my nigga you know we ran together drop niggas the fuck off but um yeah you feel me like we on to the next one man he definitely deserved to be up on this bitch you see, look at this. Eight for eight, all greens, all threes. There we go. So now, number one. No, I am not biased. No, I'm not putting myself at number one because I am cocky. I'm putting myself at number one because in order to... Now, at number one, this bitch-ass nigga done put himself. You want to ISO against me? 3v3? I'll drop your shit the fuck off. Especially if you pull up with randoms, my nigga. Not no old gooners and shit. Me, me versus you. I am your sensei. You cannot take out sensei, Swan, my nigga. You feel me? But uh, you let me know if you want to set that up. You know, I'll make sure I'm warm up. You warm up. I guarantee nine out of ten times I drop your shit the fuck off. Yo, bum ass had a 70-something win percent in 2K15. You were fucking garbage in 2K16. You had an 80 something win percent and nobody knew you are pulled up on you. You're trash, my nigga. And you never went to the stage. Now, with how dumbed down 2K is, people like you can go to the stage. It used to be niggas couldn't go to the stage. They getting their shit dropped off. But um, you could keep letting these uh, YouTube subscribers and all this other shit pump up your head. But you're not a top player. Sorry. But um, eat a dick, bitch. Don't you ever disrespect me in your motherfucking life. And then at, at, at the end of the video, I'm replying to this part too. At the end of the video. Now there's a lot of people I left off of this list. And that is simply because they either have absolutely no idea. They, they act like they're the best at this game when they're actually not. Praise and make people. They praise themselves so much and make people believe that they're very good, Mr. Hulk. So, uh. Yeah, that's that's about it. This nigga says a lot of people always. Well, what he was talking about, he he says Hulk later on. You know, he's talking about a lot of people say they're so good and praise themselves and blah 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 to make people think. How do I make people think? I literally get on the spot by myself, play all levels of comp, and I go a hundred percent more than any other nigga. No screens, my nigga. Even when I do use screens, I still fuck niggas up. When I use screens, I fuck niggas up. And I barely play. Like, 
how am I not that good? Like, I, I don't understand. I mean, you were saying different shit in your DMs, you know. You put me on your little players list and shit, but I, mean, I don't know, man. You, you're sucking mad dick in this list. You feel me? Um, You can't do what I can do. There's a reason you play off stream. Then Wizard literally is the only reason you don't play. You don't matter... Nigga, you could stream. If you stream as much as you play, you could be at like 400K or 500K. You play off stream because of one nigga. You are a bitch, my nigga. Dead ass. Like, you're scared of him. Like, seriously. And you always run with people. I can understand if you run with randoms or subscribers and shit. But you always run with people and the best people in the game. Kind of fucked up to me. You feel me? But, uh... What else do I gotta say about your weak ass, man? You know, don't be fooled by these uh these gimmicks these niggas put up. I'm pretty sure any of you niggas watch a Hank stream, you seen him get fucked up plenty of times. You don't see that with Swante, okay? Niggas, high reps, stage niggas. I be killing niggas, bro. And I don't even be on this shit, my nigga. Dead ass, B. You feel me? I'm YOLO DOLO. No nigga can do what I can do with fucking randoms i'm iso and lockdowns my nigga no one can do what i could do the the way people play is because of me this iso shit how people move this the iq i i put that in the community i gave y'all that i am the reason i'm iso god sensei you feel me i know i know i don't play as much as a lot of you guys so y'all don't get to see a lot of the footage Sometimes y'all might just come in when I'm playing motherfucking bums or something. But I, I've beat a lot of good people, bro. Showed out again against a lot of good people. And I'm pretty sure it's harder to, to play three niggas with 80-something win percentage that are literally trying to stop you from driving. Niggas know what I'm going to do. And they still can't stop me. And I still do it. I'm pretty sure that's pretty amazing for me literally facing three people by myself and you know always coming out on top man i don't, I don't know man but if y'all like this video i think this shit mad long because he made this shit like 15 minutes if y'all like this video show support like the video and um i'm out this bitch bro um i hope you niggas have a beautiful day and um yeah so hold up hold up hold up hold up why isn't kid kudu on this list For, first of all my nigga didn't this nigga Kid Kuda fucking destroy Hank the Tank? <laughs> that ass B. Like, didn't he like wax that nigga and he never plays Park? You feel me? And he picked up Park Randall. Didn't he beat that nigga ass? You feel me? And uh, didn't he fucking destroy I Run You too? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get this list, man. D didn't that nigga Hank lose um a lot of big games? I mean, isn't his record versus Davis like fucking? nine to fucking one one v ones or some shit like that i don't know man he lost to lsk the nigga that's a slasher and he was trying i mean <laughs> hank be losing a lot of big games man y'all better start paying attention when he not streaking on these little twos <laughs> with, with the right nigga i'm telling you man nigga be getting this shit dropped off bro especially in, hey isn't this the same nigga who in 2k16 got handled by dj Lost every fucking tournament and shit. Like, what the fuck? Nigga got handled. <laughs> you know? Destroyed. Like, what the fuck, nigga? The fuck going on? Handled by DJ without a mark. And we all know DJ trash. I mean, y'all might have thought he was good. Because, I mean, he was beating some YouTubers and shit. But he wasn't good at 16. Even, <laughs> I mean, like, dead ass. Like, but that nigga DJ handled that nigga. Hank bad like badly you know really bad <laughs> like you know that's why when hank made his little hg shit nigga dj made that video and shut that nigga hank up hank ain't say shit because he already knew what it was without a mark you bum nigga play play with people and play with them baby wilts <laughs> let's see how far you get nigga <laughs> he just said drop the fuck off bitch <laughs> let me stop, let me stop, let me stop Get it, western road flows, my confidence level getting settled Don't get hyped for the moment, then start to backpedal
Don't let your newfound fame fool ya Cloud up your judgment to talk loosely I really do this, been flowing stupid Since Vince Carter was on some through the legs Arm in a hoop shit, drinking hypnotic with Glenn Lewis